Hey everybody, uh, so today I want to talk about Power Mechanist. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun on this, so my original build that I did for Mechanist was actually a power build, uh, where, you know, they actually buff power now, and it's really good. It's actually really, really solid. I think it's pretty much just on par with Condi, as far as I know, because rifle getting buffed, and, uh, man, it feels really good having a ranged weapon be actually really good. Uh, there's very, very few situations in this game where you will just camp a ranged weapon the entire time, basically. Like, that's basically never happening. Um, even with some of my favorite weapons, like Ranger Longbow and stuff for ranged, like, that just doesn't happen. Um, so, yeah. I just want to talk a little bit about my my favorite setup here uh, and uh, kind of go over it. It's a pretty pretty basic setup, and this guy came over here and started attacking me. I thought, dude, I really didn't think anyone would be attacking me over here. I really didn't. Um, god damn, there's a lot of these motherfuckers. I did not expect this. Let's consume this real quick. And, you know, it's also insanely simple, um, which is, uh, I, in my opinion, it's actually a bad thing, because I found this to be pretty unengaging a lot of the times. I'm so used to playing Untamed, where I just have this massive amount of buttons to press, and then when I go to this, I find it just kind of unengaging to, to, to play, uh, sometimes, so... Um, yeah, I'm just trying to add in some extra buttons here and there. Like, I'd usually use a signet here, but I'm just trying to add in some extra stuff to make it a little more engaging to play. Um, but yeah. So, uh, for the gear, I'm running all Berserker's gear with, uh, Golomancer runes. Now, I will, if I, if I go into, like, a strike mission or something, um, which nowadays what I'm doing is I'm playing, uh, Alacrity Untamed for strikes or for, you know, fractals and all that. Although I don't really know if they are good for fractals. I'm just, I don't know. Um, I'm just using Golomancer runes because they're fun to use. You know, you get the golem with you, and then you also have a mech. It's pretty cool. Uh, but I will just switch off to, like, Scholar runes. I have an Ascended set with Scholar runes on my range. I'll just swap that over. Uh, same thing with the... I don't like transferring the shit over. I do have all Berserkers, like, shit here on my range. Or I just hate having to swap it over, so I'm just using exotic stuff. Uh, but like I said, if I'm doing shit where my damage really, really matters, then I'll, I'll swap it over. Uh, but yeah, for right, for right now, this is fine. Uh, the rifle is our main weapon here. Uh, I have it with force and strength. Uh, if I had an ascent, if I had like a legendary one, I would probably have uh, impact runes there. But I don't really feel like buying another one, so I'm just gonna keep that. Um, for build wise, we have explosives, firearms, and mechanists, of course. Um, so uh, for this, uh, I like I like this one because the follow up attack uh, is an explosion here, uh, which a lot of the times will be auto attacking. So we just basically get infinite amount of fury, which is absolutely wonderful uh and because of the fact that you know we have the boon shared trait here our, our pet will also be getting infinite uh infinite fury which is great as well uh aim assisted rocket i think it's cool i i, I like it because uh it synergizes with the mech with this trait um but if i'm if i'm sometimes i'll swap over to high impact drivers if i need my pet to tank for me um so if i'm in a situation where i, I really am knowing that if i'm like playing by myself or something I'll usually actually swap to this, and then I'll swap over to uh, Explosive Temper here to get more ferocity. But I just like this because it synergizes with my my mech here. Uh, and also, it's really cool that you get an orbital strike after you get four of these missiles. It's just really cool looking. I think it's really badass. Um, nothing to really mention here. That one's there. Uh, I don't think there's any real other options here. Uh, and like I said, I'll switch off to high impact drivers. Um, now I have J drive on here because I just like having that passive signet, uh, like recharge and all that, where it keeps the passive effects up. But, uh, Jade mortar here, the, is also going to be really good because it, I mean, it does pretty good damage. Um, you know, it does, it does a lot of damage actually. Uh, and it also makes it so we will get quickness, uh, whenever we use a pet skill here. Um, so you could have almost infinite quickness. It's pretty insane how much quickness you could have. Uh, you might even be able to have infinite quickness, um, with this. It's, it's pretty insane. Uh, but I just kind of like keeping it on a J drive here. I will mention though, um, a lot of the times your pet will be ranged. So if you need CC from uh, sky circus here, if you need that like landing effect there, um, just use your shift, uh, your shift signet and, uh, teleport your pet there and then use the, uh, the, the sky circus ability. That's usually what I do. Um, so yeah, that's kind of just the overall, overall setup there in terms of what I'm using. Um, but yeah, like I said, there's a couple of variations you could do there. Um, as far as the skills go, um, like I said, I like running mostly signets. I don't really like running kits, so I don't ever really do that. Um, but yeah, I guess there's a couple of healing options. I love the signet personally. I think it's fantastic. 
not only will it heal myself, but it'll also heal my mech, um, which is very, very important because the other ones don't do that. I mean, they kind of do with like the regen and all that, but uh, I am also a pretty big fan of AED as well. Uh, it's pretty similar to Proleus Gift, except Proleus Gift is, is actually a lot better. But um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, healing turret, I don't really use it too much anymore, but I actually used to use turrets a lot. I find turrets to be a lot of fun. Um, I have Electra here, uh, you here for a stun break as well as that quickness effect. I mainly use it for quick, uh, quickness because we could just use shift signet for the, the stun, uh, stun break. Um, uh, but yeah, I don't know. I just wanted something else to press there, man. I just, I don't really like running anything else. If I'm on like a world boss or something and I just want shit to like tag for me, I'll probably run like the, the rocket turret. Uh, cause I think it's really cool. And it shoots rockets out and all that. Uh, or I could do something like, I don't know, I, I, I actually really liked running Flamethrower on my Condi build, so I don't really know if I would do that on here, but, um, yeah, that was always really, really fun to me. Uh, I could run Super Conducting Signet here, um, which will increase the bleeding damage from Blunderbuss, but other than that, we don't have any Condi damage going on. Um, the thing is, though, if I was running Mace, we'd have a lot of Condi damage going on, so it would be useful just to get a teensy bit extra damage out of it, uh, but most of the time I'm running Rifle nowadays, so, um... Yeah, this is just a really, really nice one to, to have for just that blender bust. But um, I don't know. Also, Barrier Signet's really good just for overall play because, you know, just less damage on you. 12% less damage is always really, really nice. Um, so, yeah. I'll just go ahead and put back on uh, Elixir U here. Um, so, yeah, just the general rotation of it is you just auto attack. Use your blender bust and your, your pet skills, basically. That's that's all you do. Um, and, yeah, it's it's actually insanely simple. Uh, it's very, very simple to play, very easy to play, uh, to say the least, and my golem's going in there and, and fucking shit up as well. Uh, yeah, and you can see that orbital strike that just came down there. Very crazy. Uh, they did actually buff the, uh, the ranged mech, which is really cool, because before it kind of sucked ass compared to the melee one. It did significantly less damage compared to the melee, but, um, now what's really, really cool about it is that they buffed up, I think they buffed up Spark Revolver's damage, and then they also made it so your pet will get a 20% crit chance increase, and it has that aim assisted rocket effect as well from that trait. So it's actually really good now. Before, it was barely a damage increase if your pet had a lot of boons uh, to use. That, and as you can see, 100% crit chance on this build, um, which is really good. So your pet's always going to be critting as long as you have Fury. Uh, realistically, you could just auto attack and be fine, man. Like You get like 24k damage, I think, if you have like Ascended Gear and shit um on here it's pretty fucking insane um like i said if you're in a situation where you need your pet to tank uh it's definitely worth switching over to high impact drivers because your pet's not going to be at range so it'll be more aggro heavy uh because it'll be up front with the enemy and also has 2k toughness so it'll help out a lot there um but yeah that's basically uncovered that's my power build i fucking love this build man it's so much fun um like i said it's a little unengaging though i just wish they would like make the more complicated classes better to me at least uh because right i mean i think i think someone's in that private discord thing that like the complicated ones don't necessarily need to be more powerful and i'm just sitting there like dude what the fuck i would always spit out my coffee looking at that like just laughing i was like what the fuck are you guys on about man what the hell <laughs> it just makes no sense um but yeah that's gonna cover it and uh peace Wait, did I click the wrong button?